Polyplastics Group is more than 50 years old manufacturer of plastic components with nine manufacturing facilities spread pan-India in six locations supported by a strong R&D center and tool room we take pride in supplying parts which are important for the looks, style and design of the vehicle Ayukawa san MD and CEO of Maruti Suzuki has been emphasizing on zero defect as a new normal and has given us impetus to work towards zero defect in vendor conferences. The same is being reinforced in various forums since then. Last year, we implemented the structured zero defect methodology as guided by MSIL in YCA model. This methodology focuses on top management involvement and people commitment, quality systems and forum that is man, machine, material and methods keeping in mind end-to-end -end quality. It is extremely important for the top management to be aligned with the concept of zero defect. At Polyplastics, the focus was on motivating people, changing their mindset that zero defect is achievable and enabling them with proper resources. It was important for us to be a guide, a facilitator in this quest of zero defect and most importantly, keep the team motivated. Constant engagement and communication are also important in this regard. A plant-level cross-functional team headed by the plant head has worked sincerely and tirelessly along with the MSIL CFT. A zero defect action plan was made to review and monitor the activities. I am happy to share that we have been able to maintain zero defect in YCA model for almost one year now. Apart from preventing any defect flow to the customer, we have been able to reduce internal rejections and improve in-house quality levels. Let us now see how our working team achieved this feat. In YCA model, we are supplying four parts. Front grill, backdoor garnish, S-mark and wheel cover. Focus was given to robust development starting from the spec meeting with the MSL. We ensured that all our tier 2s and raw metal suppliers are approved and are in green category. Our associates were trained in newly established dojo training center using structured training method for six days. Part specific training was also provided to operators and inspectors based on the important point discussed in the spec meeting with MSI. I am Manish Kumar, YCA grill ka operator. YCA model ki front grill, tata baki sabi grill me ek bhot bada antar hai. Is grill me hood ke upar ki taraf ka gap 2 mm se adhik nahi hona chahiye, tata side ome. हेडलैंप की तरफ का गैप 3.5 एमएम से अधिक नहीं होना चाहिए हमें ट्रेनिंग में बताया गया है कि इसमें पार्ट का वेट बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है इसमें पार्ट का वेट कम या ज्यादा होने पर ग्रिल में डिफेक्ट आ सकता है इसलिए हम हर पार्ट का वेट करते हैं तथा पार्ट के पीछे लिखते हैं फॉर प्रोसेस स्ट्रेंथनिंग वी डिस्कस पास स्पेसिफिक पीएफएमए फ्रॉम इनकमिंग टू ट्रांसपोर्टेशन टू एमएसएल इन्वॉल्विंग द सीएफटी ड्यूरिंग दिस पीएफएमए वी आइडेंटिफाई पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ फेलियर which are addressed using Pokayo case. For preventing unauthorized changes in the process parameters, biometric access was implemented in machines. This allows only authorized persons to do any changes to the process parameters. Machine auxiliaries like MTC and HRTC was interlinked with the process. This ensured machine stoppage in case parameters were out of specification. To avoid mix-up of different kind of raw materials, centralized feeding using daybin was ensured. A matrix of molding machine and the raw material type was defined. Machines are linked with a centralized feeding system. In assembly process, if operator does not place the S emblem, a child part, the machine does not operate. An error is displayed on the screen. If operator misses to place one garnish assembly, again the machine does not operate and an error is shown on the screen. If the liquid pro motor applied for adhesive strength is missing or not applied on the complete specified area, the machine does not operate. Mounting CD of the garnish is an identified critical to quality parameter. To ensure 100% verification of this CTQ parameter, the fixture is designed to ensure 100% check of the mounting dimension. All these poker yokes are interlinked with barcode confirmation and scanning to ensure no process miss or poker yoke bypass. 
Important challenge for us was the metal handling as the parts are prone to scratches and dents. Scratch free parts theme was focused during PFMEA. To ensure no appearance defects like scratch or dent, standard bins with cloth separators and flaps were ensured in the molding area. A conveyor system was installed for moving material from after pleating to inspection area with online inspection on the conveyor. This helped in reduction of material transfer to inspection station in bins and hence the possibility of scratches due to handling. For transferring parts from inspection to assembly, pigeonhole bins for material transfer was used. It was found that during transportation of parts to MSIL, there were cases of scratches on the S emblem. Packing standard was modified for keeping last part in reverse position to prevent scratches due to rubbing with sidewall during transportation. Overall material handling layout was studied and made single piece flow after plating. Proper inventory control was maintained to avoid any over shortage of parts, leading to mix up and handling defects. During the initial flow management period, the SCADA controlled fully automated plating process was strengthened even more by increased frequency of process checks and validation. All these actions in the zero defect action plan were reviewed on a weekly basis with our top management. After a defect free launch, sustenance was possible only by a robust quality systems. To sustain zero defect, it is very important to adhere the defined quality systems and fast communication. We reviewed our quality systems and rules on 4A principles. Availability, adequacy, awareness and adherence. We made the rules which were easy to understand. This enabled us to become green category vendor in the vendor system audits conducted by MSIL. For quick communication, daily fast response meeting is conducted. The quality issues of last 24 hours are discussed. The board is used for immediate feedback in case of quality issues. For adherence of 4M change and abnormality handling system, 4M and abnormality board is used for tracking all planned and unplanned changes. In case of any change, proper validation, inspection and applicable retroactive checks are carried out and monitored. To avoid mix-up of part during setup and to maintain proper records of petrol inspection, dedicated trolleys and bins are used. For outflow control, understanding the product requirement is important. We simulated the part fitment condition in our checking picture for GAP and LD. GCA training of inspectors and pre-GCA check for appearance confirmation is ensured. Sequential check sheet to avoid any checkpoint miss is implemented. For quality parts, quality of tools and machines are important. For sustaining the quality of tools and machines, proper maintenance of tool and machine is carried out. It is done through adherence of preventive maintenance plan, availability of critical spares and maintenance facility, layered audit by top management, fortnightly process audits and regular updation of PFMEA is done. I thank everyone in our organization for putting in their hard work and Marty Suzuki for its guidance in achieving zero defect in YCA. I fully commit that this zero defect journey will continue in polyplastics and we are making a roadmap for implementing this zero defect activity across the polyplastics group. Zero defect is everyone's responsibility. Polyplastics as one team pledged towards being a zero defect organization. Our country is defect. Our country is a 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 defect.